Good morning. Welcome to Salina Regional's Morning Medical. Today's program, we're going to be talking about some mental health issues. With me, I have Ryan Poling from Viridian Behavioral Health. Um, Ryan, I know statistics that I saw show that one in five of Americans suffer from a mental health condition every year, and many of them not seeking help. Why don't they seek help? I think one of the big reasons is is that it's it's still a little taboo to to seek mental health treatment. You know, it's it's one thing to go to the hospital for a broken ankle. It's it's another thing to go to the hospital if you're feeling depressed and, and feeling like you you're afraid you might hurt yourself. Um, let's talk about the services available at Viridian Behavioral Health. If you kind of give mm -hmm. us a rundown of of the gamut of services. Yeah, for sure. So the most intensive service is, is our inpatient unit. Okay. Um, that's where people go uh, in the hospital and live there for usually less than a week, three to five days. Um, and that's a place where they can be around providers, get things with their meds fixed, tweaked just right. They can get a lot of support groups, therapy, that kind of thing. That's, uh, it, it's a place where people can go to feel the most safe. Um, so once they get out of inpatient, a lot of times they'll transition into intensive outpatient. And that is where they go in the mornings, about three, three days a week in the mornings, for, again, more groups, learning about skills, learning how do I manage anxiety, how do I manage depression, how can I better my relationships so that they're more supportive. Then after IOP, a lot of times they'll go into individual therapy. Um, and that is where they'll meet with someone usually on a weekly basis and have hour-long sessions. And it's, you know, sort of your stereotypical therapy session. They go in, talk for an hour, you, you work through things, you process things. It's all private, totally confidential. Okay. Let's say somebody, you know, had something happen in mm -hmm. their life. They were depressed because of a, a, a situation. Sure. Um, and they're just not getting over it. Mm -hmm. um, what's, what's their next step? I mean, yeah. So th there's a couple different next steps. Um, I, I think the first thing is, is just to talk to someone about anyone about it, you know, whether it's a doctoral level person, a master's level person, whoever you go to see, just get it out there, talk to someone about it. Once it's out there, then there's a number of different things we can do. Um, one of the things that we can do at Viridian is psychological assessments. Okay. So we can sit down with them and we can um, essentially do, you know, a bunch of tests. A lot of them are, are fairly simple, you know, true, false, you know, on a scale of one to five, how much does this fit you sort of thing. And it, it takes some time, but at the end of it, you get a really good picture of what's going on for this person. What are they struggling with? Where are their stressors? Where are their resources? How can we, you know, kind of lean on their strengths so that the things that they're struggling with can dissipate a little bit? All right. Thank you so much for Thank being you. on the show. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.